Hi guys, so today what uh, this we're playing a 93 point game of Team Yankee. Uh, I've decided to bring the checks in force again, but after my last game with uh, Jerome, was it Lance? Lance. I think I've decided to bring a little bit more infantry, a little bit more combined arms. I've also decided not to completely hinge my force on uh, six frog foots. So today I've played two formations of T72Ms. Uh, both of them have integrated carnation support of three tanks, uh, three three guns each. I also have Danas in support. Both formations are going to bring their full complement of four SA10s or Gophers, and I have a spotter friend, of course always to bring along. Uh, both formations are also going to bring their integrated motor support, which is on the second tray, give me a second. One of the uh, formations has got four shulkers and one formation has got uh, one platoon of two BMP1 scouts. So both of them, almost everything in this force is integrated other than the, the spotter and the dana. And then I, for both formations, they have got their integrated motor, which is two BMP2 platoons, medium size. So I've got about 15 stands of infantry and 9 BMP2s on each side. So it should be a rather uh, hard hitting force. With 3 artillery pieces I should be able to smoke off what I can't kill and isolate what I want to. And then we'll go see the table next and uh, what Regan is bringing today. Alright guys, this is what Regan is bringing today. He has got three different formations. He's playing Australians as his main and he has British allies in support. So, uh, he has got one Leopard 1 Koi over here in a 4, 3 and 2 HQ format. He has got a Anzac uh, Australian Mech platoon uh, formation, which is two platoons, his HQ and four Milan and the Milan group. That's the these are the transports for them. And then he has got uh, four Abbots. He has got four M1, 81 mm Motas. Or 106s. Oh, those 106s. So they're 4 plus FP and 82. Okay. And then after that, he has got uh, in support his uh, allied formation are the British, which has got one Milan group of four Milans. And oh, wait, no. No Milan group. Two just two infantry. Squads. So just two air mobile platoons with three Milans each and his HQ over here. Uh, in the rest of his list for support, he has got his flyers that he requires, of course, for his uh, air mobile. He has got four rapiers, which he won't need today, but he will be putting them in reserve. He has got two platoons of four scorpions. He has got four tow guns and this... Recoilers. Oh, recoilers, sorry. Oh yeah, these are the AT-17 FP-2 Brutal. And then this is a Battlefront FV432 with the Army Bits upgrade kit to be a Symboline uh, Observer for the British. 436. 436. Okay, sorry. FV436. Pretty nice. It's a 3D printed, I believe. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I'll, I'll, if Regan passes me the link, I'll, I'll throw in the link below and you guys can take a look if you guys are interested. Alright, so let's go see the list. Uh, today we are doing 40% reserves. We're also playing the experimental rule set available in, uh, on Team Yankee's website. Uh, if you guys are interested, the link will be down below. It's a new one. Uh, it should be in line with V2, which would be 40% off. Okay guys, this is the table we're playing today. So we rolled for the mission. Uh, there are only three experimental missions. It's uh, dogfight, killing field, and... And bypass. So today we'll be playing uh, killing field. Which is an interesting mission. What happens is the attacker actually becomes the defender in Bridgehead. So, um, and the defender gets to choose side for some strange reason. So defender is choosing that long edge over there. And his deployment zone will run all the way until this end in a U-shaped fashion. Uh, I'll, I'll put up the image just so you guys can see what the map's supposed to look like. And then over there is where I'm going to deploy. And there are two objectives on that side which I have to capture. So I'm going to have to just basically drive through while he's got like a gun line on me. But I do believe you have reserves. I do have 40% reserves. 40% reserves. So uh, the experimental missions also are not half off. They are 40% and they are point value, not uh, platoon count. So you don't have to scattered. worry about <laughs> deep scattered. Okay, that's oh, but immediate though. That means it's not delayed. Deep, scattered, delayed, was it? Delayed, there we go. Perfect. All right, great. Uh, so I'll, I'll take a little survey of the, uh, the table we're playing and then we'll begin deployment.
Okay, guys, so this is deployment for the round. Um, the British uh, platoon's over here with a transport behind. And uh, then we have an Australian platoon guarding this objective over here. And we've got four scorpions in front, four abbots at the back. He has laid out nine transports in the open at the back there. In front of them are four Milans. Um, and then this is the second Australian platoon with a FOO right there in the open. The reason this FOO is there is because he's trying to lure the shots of the uh, FOO because his air unit, the, um, the lynxes on this corner and this corner can spot for his artillery. So I'm going to try and kill them all in the first round with gopher shots, but we'll see how that goes. We've got Australian uh, infantry platoon over here. The M106 is behind him. Another transport platoon. And last but not least, another British air mobile. So remember that for me, the objective is to break right through to one of those two objectives uh, at the left and right and I am the attacker. So basically, he does have a bit of a funnel. He's using that over here. You don't have minefields, do you? Three shots. I need to check. Um, Hong, you are... Three shots and a minefields first. You are in... It just occurred to me, bridge hit has minefields, and I'm thinking, if this is a reverse bridge hit, do you have minefields? Oh, I don't know, I don't know his password. Hmm. Okay, all right, never mind. Well, uh, is Mel in there? Nice. Oh, he's in there. Oh, okay, never mind, guys. All right, we'll just go ahead first with my deployment. So on my side, I have got my T-72s. I've put one formation over here with the Shilkas. I've put Fred straddling that hill in a very, very precarious position. But I'm hoping that in the first turn, I can actually wipe out a lot of what's on that side. Um, I've got my two platoons of BMP2 motor rifle. Infantry is all inside the vehicles at all times. I have got nine more of the second formation, T-72Ms. I have got my four gophers on one side, four gophers on the other, all with direct lines of fire to the lynxes, so we're going to take shots at them. I have got my three carnations, three carnation platoons, and my Danas on this side. I've got my BMP2 scouts over here, which are going to take shots directly on the transports on the first turn. So without further ado, I'll check on the minefields, and if nothing else, we'll start turn one, attacker first. Okay guys, so we're done with turn one. Uh, the first thing I did was I moved all my tanks up. We moved up. We're trying to break down this British platoon, which we only did one casualty to, uh, two casualties, one Milan and one Mortar at the back. Over here, we did a smoke bombardment to block off the scorpions and any kind of counter attack from this end. We fired eight gopher shots over at the, the hella arm on that side, killing one. We fired eight gopher shots at the other, also do, doing nothing. So we only killed one helicopter this turn. We managed to kill uh, with the BMP 2s moving up. We killed uh, three of the M113s in the front, morale, four plus. He stays. The HQ transport. Uh, remounts and then the guy at the back, <laughs> they run. Yeah, so they're gone. Okay, so uh, the re we didn't put the bail in markers, but everyone's bailed. So just okay, in case you guys are wondering why we did them for two live tanks. Over here, we fired uh, multiple shots over here into the infantry, hitting them three times. He passed all saves. The FOO is pinned. Uh, sorry, is bailed. Roll your morale. Okay, nothing happens. So he stays. Uh, roll your remount. He's remounted. Uh, these M uh, T seventy two M's fired downrange at the M one one threes on the road, killing one. Over here, we fired twenty four Shoka shots and fifteen T seventy two M shots into the infantry. We only killed one Milan stand. We did a Dana rearranging over here, killing a light motor at the back. We range in on the second attempt for the Danas with a th on the 3+. plus, So it was pretty bad. Uh, we're now going to Defender Turn 2. Uh, Defender Turn 1. I'm going to roll my Shoot and Scoot for the Shogas. They fail. So, alright. It is now on Regan. Defender Turn 2. Okay guys, we're done with Defender Turn 1. Um, what we did this round was uh, the British infantry moved uh, some infantry into the building nearer to me and um, the other infantry moved up, the Milan stayed still, the Milans fired two shots over the downrange, killing one carnation, oh sorry, bailing one carnation. 
The um, lynxes have all moved to this side of the board. There are five of them left. The scorpions moved. Uh, two bogged, is it? Uh, two. All three bogged except for one that shot. I uh, said for one that fired. And the one that made it to that side fired downrange here at the. Um, at the um, BMP2, BMP2s, killing one guy, but the PKM got out safe and sound. The Australian infantry moved into the church, and that was about it. Uh, the M113, only one remounted, the HQ did not, so he moved forward and he fired the Shilkers, doing nothing. The Milans fired four shots, three shots downrange, killing the three Carnations instantly, and one more infantry stand, which was my HQ, so the HQ has jumped out. Uh, over here, this Australian platoon has stayed still. The FOO actually re-ranged in with the Abbott over here. Uh, Abbott did kill one. Kill one. Kill one carnation. Um, now that this carnation is dead, this carnation is the one that fired the smoke, so I only have one smoke left and that's a Dana. And that's if I choose to not use the Dana to repeat, so I am in a bit of a tactical conundrum. Um, over there, the M113s fired at the Shoka, is doing nothing at all. So anyway, now we're going to attack a turn 2, uh, and then we'll be back after that, guys. I'm going to try and force this. Remember, now that this has been killed, uh, this whole platoon is pinned, so I'm going to have to roll a Rally on a five. Oh, okay, do not make it. All right, so that's checks for you guys. Um, going now to turn two. Okay, guys, it's now end of turn two. Attacker, we fired all the BMPs into the scorpions, bailing three and killing the last surviving uh, M113 support. Uh, my carnations, I only have two artillery left, I did not smoke this round. So this carnation fired in on that same range in spot. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, so that scorpions are gone, they've failed their morale. Uh, they stay as wrecks, the build ones stay as wrecks. Yep. And then over here, these guys fired into the scorpions. These guys fired into the infantry. Uh, we didn't kill any of the infantry, we killed the FOO though. This guy over here also needs to roll morale, we killed two of them and one is left. Nope, he runs. Oh yeah, he blows up, he's bailed. And then over here, the th four shulkers fired into the infantry again, killing a single stand. All the T-72s fired in as well. They're still gone to ground, it's on sixes. Dana's repeated bombardment. We killed two stands. So we're going to do an assault because I need to force this platoon to start running, otherwise I'm going to be in trouble. Um, and then let me see if there's anything else I did. Yes, the PMP ones fired as well and missed with both shots on the scorpions. So let me just set up my assault cam and then we can get this started. The camera is still on, but it, I, I don't think I can hear you. <laughs> yes, morale and helicopters, sorry. My oh, goal, they ran away. I did uh, 16 shots on the gophers, uh, killing off one more platoon and killing off one platoon from the three. So right now we're going to do an assault. Morale, sir. Uh, sorry, um, defensive fire. So you're doing an assault? Yes. So I will have two shots. Two law shots. Yes, on four plus. Reroll that. One hit. Uh, I need uh, anything on a two up. Failed. Failed. You're a fucking idiot. You're such a, fucking, you're such a fucking idiot. How did you do that, you idiot? Okay. <sighs> Five plus. Okay, he's dead. Are you gonna counter or are you gonna fall back? Uh, if you fall back, you're gonna get out of the house. I'm but you can dig in, it's your turn, so. I'm gonna counter. Okay, so three plus. Uh, sorry, four, uh, four plus. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, is it a three or four? I don't actually know. Uh, British four. You wanna check? Because I, they had the British Bulldog in foul. I'm not sure I'm if. Certain as for Australians. It's the other way for Australians. That three on thing. Right. Okay. Moment of truth, air mobile. Do they have the British Bulldog for the Cold War? <laughs> These cowboys are pretty great. Oh, that is stabilizers. You can move an additional four more because you only move them, correct? You can choose to move four more, but it's a plus one penalty. So you hit me on five. Yeah, 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 you hit me on five. Yeah
active in checking technology. This is yeah, why you buy the book and trial. get the cards, guys. <laughs> We're just checking the book to see if it's a three or a four. You roll a three. <laughs> Can't take fate. You're back in the game. Yay. Yeah, I kind of remembered that you guys were That's actually ridiculous. really good. I didn't realize they were counter attack free. Yeah, because they, 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 had the, free. they had the British Bulldog rule, so... Go ahead, one attack. On a three, he hits. Uh, he rolled a five. So I'm going to defend on a two up. Yes, we're good. I uh, will counter attack. Uh, my HQ is there. So. Counter attack into a building? No, you have to come out to come hit uh, me in the first so place. Kinda... Uh, it's on a 4, I believe. Now it's my turn to check my damn stats. I don't actually know. I know the checks are really bad at... Just roll the dice because if it's a 1, we know it will fail. Yeah, it's a 4, man. Alright! <laughs> if not, I lost the tank for that. Alright, 3 guys. Uh, on 5 up! Dead. Alright. Which means I have to do a out. Yes, you do, sir. If you'd be so Don't kind. Need to do the full back. You are still in the game. Alright, you're all the six, guys. We're now going to just advance a little bit. This guy can't because he's bailed. Uh, that's the platoon. And that's it for attacker turn two. We're now going to defender turn two. Back after that. Alright, guys, we're done with uh, defender turn two. He, fi he actually rallied this infantry platoon over here, firing twice into the shulkers, killing both. Infantry at the back have stopped moving. Uh, he remounted the two M106s that were fired at from the BMP2s last round. He repeated bombardment with the mortars over here, doing nothing to this squad. The Abbots were rearranged in with the helicopters, which then hit this point over here, and then um, killed the Gopher. Yeah, good job. <laughs> um, over there, the Milan's group remain pinned so they didn't fire the australians didn't move uh they moved out i think they moved a couple the thing just moved there the gustavs just right. one couple of stuff okay and then these milans fired downrange killing one more bmp2 killing the pkm direct straight away while trying to get out of the vehicle very grisly death for the uh poor infantryman all right so now we are going to attack a turn three he is going to start getting reserves on i'm going to have to push really hard to finish this off um we did come up an uh, interesting um rules question which is that when the pk when this dies the pkm comes out rolls an infantry save and he dies is the rest of the platoon pinned so according to the rule book page 37 it says all surviving passengers are pinned so i will take it as yes they are all pinned so i'm going to rally this guy here over here first on a five nope and i'm going to rally that platoon on a five i'm going to reroll that mm, no so everyone stays down like the true Soviets that they are. All right, we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna roll a remount for this tank, who bailed out on my turn in an assault. All right. So when you pay the discount, you when you get the discount that you get when you play check tanks, it's really good when you pass rare mounts. All right, we're gonna go now to attack turn three. I'm going Okay, guys, we're now done with attack turn three. Oh, sorry, sorry. I got one more thing. The gophers are gonna fuck up the last guy. Two, four, six, seven, eight dice. Gophers on four plus. One, two, three, four, five, six hits. It's amazing. Six saves. Three each. First four. Four plus. Dead, dead. Two failed and three failed. Four failed. So two each. Last try. One dead. Just one dead. And then I got the other six. Hold on, I got the other six. Six golfers, three hits on the last guy, three saves. One. Nope, so he stays. He passes his morale, right? He passes, yeah. Alright, so he stays. Alright, um, over here we did an artillery bombardment over there with the two carnations left. Just trying to pin them and we managed to pin them, so that was pretty lucky. Over here we fired all the BMP2s into the infantry over there, pinning them and killing one more Milan morale for him. Four up. No, they run. Uh, over here, we fired everything on this flank into the infantry. We killed one guy. We did fail his Carl Gustav save, but I failed my firepower of 2+. plus. 
Uh, over there we hit the two M106s, bailing two. And then over here we fired all the shot main gunshots into the Milans, killing one more Milan. And then we're charging in now for a assault. Uh, it's gonna be... I'm like it on the record, I'm looking very bemused at this. <laughs> uh, when can we capture objective, sorry? Start of your turn. Start of the six. Start of the six. So, okay, if we... If you move back, I should probably pop my ambush next turn. Yes, you should. It would and be a good idea to start pump, your popping your ambush. Will your infantry ever actually come out of their transport? Oh, when, they, when they rally. <laughs> Alright. We massacre this uh, last Milan over there and then we console 4 inches. After turn 6. Or not after turn 6. So from turn 6 onwards, if you actually... Oh, oh, five, five, and one to four. Now is, uh, and now we are rolling yeah. for reserves. Yeah. Regan, would like, where are you rolling it? I'm rolling it there. Five, five up for his reserves. Oh, no. no! It's one scattered. Four. It's one, scattered. Two, three, four. Yeah. So if you ah. <laughs> <laughs> but really, two, three, two, five pluses in a row is pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> the reason we're laughing, guys, is one, two, he comes in this corner, three, four's there, and five, six is that corner in the end there with the lone Mila links. So he can't really influence the battle with this. So he's going to choose to what platoon to bring on. Are you going to bring on the four? Or are you going to bring on something smaller and hopefully get the, uh, the leopards on later? The big platoon later. I think I might bring the scorpions on. Yeah, okay, put the useless guy on that side, right? Okay, all right, fair enough. And now we go to attacker turn, uh, defender turn three. All right, guys, uh, we're now done with uh, defender turn three. He fired his M106s at the same spot at the Danas, hitting three of them. I passed all my saves, so that's fine. Uh, he did fire the, in the infantry stay gone to ground. He did pop his ambush of the Jeep uh, recallless rifles, firing four shots, hitting three times at three BMP twos. The gun is brutal, and the infantry is considered to be hit by the same gun that hit the tank. So when he blew them up, brutal hit all the infantry teams inside. One PKM died, two AKs died, and one RPG died, and they're very very pinned. Uh, the scorpions dashed from reserve onto that spot. The abbots are staying there. The infantry fired three Gustav shots, hitting three of them, bailing two, killing one, which killed one AK stand. So I'm going to have... Oh, he also did his abbot uh, bombardment over here, killing one carnation. I'm going to have to roll for that. It's a four up. Nope, they run. It's a second platoon I've lost. I'm going to roll a remount the gopher over here. Remounted the gopher. Perfect. So now we go to defend uh, attacker turn four. I'm going to roll the remount for the two BMP twos over there. As they lie. Nope, they both stay pinned. Ah, uh, bailed. All right, let's go. Attacker turn four. Okay, guys, we're coming down to the crutch moment. Uh, here's what's what going to happen. Uh, here's what happened, sorry. Carnations, repeat bombardment over there. Um, killing the one infantry stand. Um, infantry. I'm sorry, I can't do that. My carnations died last round. So, you can. Did you lose anybody? No. Oh, okay. I lost that one, but they might not. Uh, they oh, yeah, still pinned anyway. You feel the you feel the unpinned. Okay, sorry. So you, nothing happens. Uh, over here, the BMPs move forward. We fired at the scorpions in the front, killing both. And then we also move the infantry out of here. We rallied one platoon, so they jumped out over there, firing into the uh, recoilless uh, jeeps, which survived everything on a four plus because uh, also they don't get consumed. But then that didn't matter. Over here, we moved all the tanks up. If you were from the air position, you'd see all these Czech tanks with their crosses. They fired into the infantry, doing nothing. Uh, the BMPs did nothing. Oh, no, sorry, BMPs did. These BMPs fired into these guys over here, and we killed three bailed one. You want to go your morale for that? Ah, uh, yeah. You guys have like, yeah, they stay. Uh, over here, we moved up, but we couldn't fire because I killed the BMP. No, no, I didn't. This guy. I wanted to shoot at the back, but at the back M one sixes. Over here, the two shokers fired at the infantry. Um, basically, we pinned them, didn't do anything else. So here's the real conundrum I have right now. If I do an assault. 
he has got. Let me just set up the assault cam. No. You want to check if your Jeeps have MGs? They do not. So it's really just a recallless. Okay, so the recallless over here is going to fire at me if I charge in on a 4 plus because I'm concealed and a 5 plus because they're pinned, they're slow firing. They are unarmored vehicles, so they can be pinned. This guy over here and this guy over here is a Carl Gustav. They're going to fire the same thing on fives. These two are going to just fire on fours. So in total, I'm taking five shots at five plus, four shots at four plus. It's not the best odds you can get as a Soviet commander, but... If you just lodge me though, I've probably lost the game. I won't be able to get the objective because I'll fall back for Yeah, so I can do that, but then if I don't do it, I'm going to get MG'd in the back by the Scorpions. So, here goes nothing, boys. I need some, I would clear the menus. What? Everyone would be moving towards this corner the first. <laughs> Defensive fire away. Three. This is rifle shots. On fives. He hits once, that's perfectly statistical. Next. He's got two Gustav shots on fives. Okay, a little bit above average. He needs to get above average for the last four. Sh oh yeah, yeah, one's brutal and one's not. Okay, and then he's got... Uh, no, four, four. You're pinned, you're pinned. He needs to hit... Oh, he hit me three times! I'm down! I'll push back. Yeah, I'm pushed back. I'll do the recall list first. I'm assuming you want to hit AKs and not RPGs. I would like to shoot the AKs. Okay, so the AK takes a brutal shot. He passes. And then I take another four saves on... Ah, uh, sorry. Three on, the, three on them and then one on the RPG. One AK is down. One RPG is down. Very good. That is a buff. And I would like you to fall back out of this pass. I don't know, I only fall out four. Ah, uh, two. I'm thinking... Because you just pushed me back, yeah. Alright guys, we are now going into... Uh, yes, throw for your reserves. One's in. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six for scattered. Reroll that. Yes! Go to that corner, go, go! Alright, and now we go to Defender Turn 4. Okay guys, we are now done with Defender Turn 4. Um, he didn't rally his infantry, but it doesn't matter, he wasn't going to fire. He's cowardly Australian. A New, a, a New Zealander, sorry, sorry. Uh, over here, these three uh, recallers rifles fired and to the Shoka, missing all four, all three shots. The M106 did not remount, right? Did not remount. Uh, the Scorpions fired, they moved forward, fired MGs into the infantry, killing one stand. The Abbots moved around and direct fired the BMPs, missing. The Leopards came on, they came out, they fired at the T72s, hitting once in the side, killing it directly. So now, uh, the Gustavs also fired, they hit twice, and they bailed two of the BMPs. Um, so I'm going to roll my remounts now. I'm going to roll the two remounts for these two BMPs at the back. Okay, I've got one. So maybe can try. The guy on the left is up. Yeah. And then I'm going to roll for the two at uh, the front. Involves two formations. One gets in, so guy on the left, but as they lie. So... Checkmate, the bailing is just the same as killing them, right? <laughs> it is, almost. Almost. Um, and now we're back to my turn. Uh, my priority for this turn is to kill the Leopard 1s, because if I manage to kill them, he fails his formation morale. Um, that's a pretty big deal for me, because if he does... I'm going to roll my rally for them on a 5. And then rally for them on a 5, which is a pretty big deal. Nope, then make it. So we're going to have to do everything with the tanks this round, basically. Let's go for it, guys. Nothing, nothing to it. Sure. Okay, guys, uh, we're now done with attacker turn 5. Um, it is getting really dicey. We stayed still for most of it. Fired everything into this unit over here. We killed two Gustavs, he's only got four stands of infantry left. Um, the BMPs fired into the recallers, failing the, uh, forcing the one guy to die. The infantry fired in, hit twice, he passed both saves. 
Over here, the BMPs, we killed two Leopard 1s in the front, which means he was in bad spirits, which means that because his HQ is not on, it's in reserve, he auto-fails his morale, so that, that's gone, so they are off the table. Uh, over here, uh, all the BMPs fired into side shots, which is how we push them off. So now it is on Regan's turn. I think the only thing you have left is rapiers, uh, which you don't have to bother bringing on. I, can't, I don't think I can kill this many tanks. I'm just going to concede it. Okay. Thanks a lot, Regan. Thanks for the game. Yeah, uh, I think I think uh, with the 40% reserve rule, NATO players are incentivized to put their HQs even in reserve, and <clears throat> that's risky because. Uh, HQs come on as their own platoon in reserve roles, and you don't want a small platoon coming on reserve. Normally, you need all the backup you can, so you have to force them on. He also got pretty unlucky with his scattered uh, reserves. So, with that one move losing all his tanks, I think it was yeah, his game. Uh, for the checks, we have lost two carnations, so it counts as one, it's a 5 2. Uh, Anything else? Uh, yeah, I think that's it. And for the T-72s, we've lost one tank. And that was to a leopard. The Milans didn't do it. The Milans were actually killing all the carnations, which is the right move, I've got to say. When you're fighting the Soviets, I know it's tough, but take out the support and you'll find that their effectiveness goes down. Um, he managed to block me from doing my three smokes. If my three smokes took off, it would have been a different... Yeah, I would have been able to charge on that. Anyway, thanks for watching guys.